We are so excited to be here. We are humbled and uh, we are excited to be a part of uh, this great expedition and can't wait to get started. We have several different experiments going on inside of the space station in racks in different little facilities like our, our life sciences glove box that we use for for biological and life sciences but we also have experiments that are are run on us space to ground three for shannon we're watching the flame do its thing we have three very mesmerized pis yep and one mesmerized crew member here all right are you ready for this what do you think of that? Wow. Right there. Wow. <laughs> that is beautiful. Thank you, guys. The plant will grow in this direction, meaning we'll put some light on top of it, and uh, we'll, we'll see how it grows uh, for the next 30 days. Again, Shannon, you stuck it rich for us. That was great. That, that's the primary objective right there. Yes, we got double thumbs up down here, too. In station space ground two, signals capture is complete. Welcome to ISS, SS Catherine Johnson. Thanks, Alfred. Thank you, man. That was awesome. Thank you, you were... Thank you so much. We develop technologies and ways of using those technologies, healthcare and medical technologies that are ways to improve life on Earth, but even more important than that, I believe, space has some a way of universally inspiring people. Making folks want to do very challenging things to the best of their ability is what I think human space exploration does most for humankind. And so the human aspect of human space exploration is always going to be very important, I think, for decades to come. Subscribe for more space. space.